Interesting here we have Vinyus uh, mm. just starting to uh, you know set the pace on the front. Are they trying something maybe in the end? Uh, uh, who knows? And uh, there's opportunities here, as uh, you know, we have all uh, been talking about this circuit. We've been hearing from Adam Blyde on the motorbike there how difficult it is. Uh, you know, we could see uh, an attack there in this uh, final number of kilometres, but uh, also, you know, it's a stay out of danger here as well. The best place to be where the Ineos uh, riders here with Geron Thomas on the very front, safest place to be. Yama Visma had been bumped down when Geraint Thomas and co came to the front. They're just me moving up to the front, those yellow jerseys, pink jersey on the wheel. And sat behind the Ineos Grenadiers, not too far away, is Mark Cavendish as well. We talked about him not having much of a team to lead him out here. He's being kept nice and close to the front right now. Positioning is going to be vital. Those yellow jerseys of Jumbo Visma remake it to the front. That looks like it's Swift done. Arashiro for Bahrain victorious here. 6.3 kilometers to go. Pucho's on his wheel. Japanese champion pedaling furiously and the man he's working for is wearing that purple jersey Chiclamino just on the right hand side and this is furious it is we can see here the way the other just uh, really race and full on here and riders wanting to move up keep a good position we can see Cavendish there in the center having to look around to see where's the best place is it left or right which way do I go for here we can see teammates there, there as well also you know trying to stay with him here and it's the teams that uh, yeah, the GC teams at the moment uh, they're the ones who are keeping control here with a mixture of some sprint teams as well but it is for a full on racing reminder that after three kilometers to go if there's any incident accident problem everybody gets the same time and that is going to be the first finish line if you like for the general classification riders Roglic who has Affini just in front of him in the yellow jersey and sitting behind him is Hessmann the debutant from Germany Thomas now on the wheel at the front of a teammate of his Attack on the right hand side, and we've got to move. And guess what? Guess who? Here we go. Derek G on cue at the Giro d'Italia with five kilometers to go. Followed by a rider from Aero Cometa. And this is key now. Are there enough teams? Is there the firepower? Is there the will behind to hold off this move? Just over one of those little rises there from Derek G. Yes, well, it's uh, a good time to try something. And. Uh, it's going to be a real difficult one because we can see still the um, GC teams are riding on the front here. We can see the advantage uh, he's uh, pulled out here. Uh, it's a very, very uh, tiny one. And to hold off, we're still over four kilometres to go. You know, if you go on that, uh, in that kick up uh, as uh, closer to the finish, it would take a real powerful rider to hold off here at the end. So it's always going to be very difficult. And I think, you know, the two riders we have here, yeah, there's not going to work out for them. Primoz Roglic on his own towards the front at the moment, in the pink jersey. Teammates have been burned and done their job. A couple of them trying to return on the left-hand side. Uphill here, four Ks to go. It dips down again, it gets fast before rising once more. And we knew this would happen at some point. G was going to give it a go. Off the back in the meantime, riders who no longer need to be involved. There's Thomas Gloag alongside Ben Healy. The Brit and the Irishman. Gary right, Thomas still second wheel here. Up there too is Thibaut Pino. Blue jersey is king of the Madden's on his back. The only sprint team that's anywhere near the front at the moment. You can see en masse Bahrain victorious who are also going to take the team classification. They're looking after Jonathan Milan. Half a kilometre to go, by the way, for the GC riders until we get to that magic three kilometre to go mark where if there is any crash or incident, everybody is given the same general classification time. They still have to look out for splits, however. G is caught. It is all back together. One last adventure's done. A wave to the camera and here come Movi Star with three kilometres to go looking after Fernando Gaviria. Another twist, another turn. Albert Torres, the man from the island of Menorca. Track rider, former world champion in the Madison up there. 
under the three kilometer banner to go and there'll be a sigh of relief from the GC riders there. The likes of Thomas Roglic, Chalmeda know that they're almost home now. So Movistar controlling it here, Sean, but again, the numbers is the big thing. Not a lot of teams have the numbers to keep this going all the way to the finish. No, and it's uh, Rojas is on the front here, and uh, to keep it going at this point, like 2.4 kilometres to go, it's uh, too early. You can see, you know, some of the teams just waiting off. Bahrain there are uh, just uh, waiting for the moment, and uh, a number of the other teams, you know, and riders waiting as well. And that's what you've got to do, just hold off. But Movistar, yeah, often we see this where they take, maybe take it up that little bit too early. But when you're on the front, you have to keep on riding because otherwise you get crowded out totally. Look at this. Geraint Thomas looks across to Luis Leon Sanchez, who's helping Mark Cavendish, says, get on my wheel and ride. And Geraint Thomas is keeping Mark Cavendish close to the front here. Just less than two kilometres to go. Well, could you wish for a better man at this point? Well... When Geraint goes to the front, he will keep the pace real high. And uh, yeah, if you're in the top, uh, you know, eight or ten riders here, that's the per perfect place to be for the moment. And we can see there's a lot of riders. You can see the rider from Ackerman from UAE. He's up there. We also see Intermarché. They had a rider there, pretty close as well, uh, moving up. So a big mixture of uh, teams here and the fast men, all trying to keep the position for the moment. Coming up to one kilometre to go now, as Thomas it was who kept it up. It's now Sut who takes over at the front on his wheel, one of the riders from Jaco Alula. They're about to turn and go past this sweeping left beyond the Colosseum and into the final 1,000 metres of the Giro d'Italia. Waiting and ready to go, British champion Mark Cavendish. Alongside him, the Colombian sprint star in the blue, who is Fernando Gabidia. The best sprinter at this Giro d'Italia so far, Jonathan Milan is in the purple jersey. That's it, Fiamarosa, Flamme Rouge, last kilometre of the 106th Giro d'Italia. That's going to be won by Primoz Roglic. Marvi Star, though, want one more stage win, and they take it up at the front. We're coming into the end. Cavendish is well positioned. He's on the wheel now of Milan, watching and waiting. Consonni in the red and white is there as well. Building up to a sprint finish after almost three hours of racing here. The stage is set. The arena's there. Time for the gladiators to go. 500 metres now, and it's Pasqualon who takes it up here. On his wheel, you can see Stuart, the British rider for Groupama FDG, the giant figure there of Milan with Cavendish on his wheel and waiting. Is it going to be one final golden goodbye it's an early sprint launch again by Gavidia left hand side he has Cavendish on his wheel here comes Cavendish through the center there is Cavendish through the center Milan's out the game it's going to be a fairy tale there's a crash behind but it's Mark Cavendish Mark Cavendish enjoy it savor it remember it the world's best the greatest of all time sprints to victory again